Oh my god, she's a psycho! Oh my god! It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. How are you? How is he alive? <laughs> All right, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna be watching You Season 3, Episode 6. Now, in the last episode, Love and Theo, they got down. They kind of, um, you know, they kind of did it. So, like, I called it. I call, I've been calling this ever since Theo was introduced. Like, he is the reason why Joe is gonna start tweaking again super duper hard. Like, like to be honest, we haven't seen Joe get, like, really jealous. Really angrily jealous. Like he did with Beck, you know? He hasn't done that for love yet. So, this could, this will bring it back, I think. And then, at the end of the episode, Joe's stalking his boss now. So, okay, well... The hunting trip did nothing for him, basically. He brought home bow and arrows. I think they're gonna kill someone with them now. Like, I am so convinced. Love or Joe is going to kill somebody with these arrows. Like, it makes too much sense for them not to do that. But anyways, I'm gonna stop wasting time. We're just gonna hop right into this episode. If you'd like to watch the full-length reaction, that'll be available on Patreon, as well as early access to the next two episodes of you will also be available on Patreon, as well as YouTube membership. So click the join button down below. So anyways, let's get started. Here's what I've learned about you in the last few days, Marianne. Season one, Joe is back. But who takes care of you? Fix your goddamn sink for her. No, 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 no. This is not why I'm here. I, I'm, I'm. <laughs> yes, we do now. To you. Oh, um, no, yeah. she's on. Okay, now you're just playing with me. She doesn't even know you're there. Lipstick. Are you going on a date? She's the best wife ever. Well, yeah, Joe. So why are you here? What plan B, huh? Oh, wait, wait, this pregnancy test, actually. Oh, shit. What if she's pregnant with his kid? Oh, my God. That would be crazy. That would be insane. Joe would... I think Joe would fucking kill him, then. <laughs> even though he's not even really into love anymore. We could go grab some food or something. I can't. I've got stuff I gotta do inside. Yeah, Theo wants to hang out with his stepdad more, but... I cheated on my soulmate. Damn, she, she's confessing to 40. Joe might- Joe's probably gonna find these texts. It's not Theo's baby. Couldn't be. I don't think. <sighs> Last time Joe and her did it, like, bro, this fool just straight nutted in her too. Could be- it could be Joe's kid, but, I mean, like, if the test is positive, she's gonna play it off as, like, oh, Joe, we're having another baby. And he's gonna be like, oh my god, this is great. And then, I guess he'll never know. Him and Theo look enough alike to where the baby wouldn't- it wouldn't be, like, a giveaway. It's not his kid, maybe. Bro, what are you doing? <laughs> what? Come on, this shit's romantic as fuck. What are you talking about? Look, bro, I have a husband. Generation, this is what the guys are supposed to do to get the girl. First of all, I'm not that old. <laughs> I don't know what to do, but you're ignoring me. I'm fucking married. So my dad's back, and he's already sequestered in his office. I don't know. I know he can be kind of a dick, but just try to see where he's coming from. Can I ask you one more thing? Do you think of me when you have sex with your husband? Bro, what? Because yours is the only face that I see. Oh my gosh, get the- shut up, dude. Terrible, why did I do it, 40? If I'm so happy. Wait, does Joe have 40's phone? I feel like he might, and that's how he's gonna see all these texts. He's gonna check 40's phone randomly, and then just see all these texts from love, and then he's gonna be like, what the fuck? So, if the test is positive, she's gonna play it off at their baby, it's Joe's baby too. And then he's gonna find the text messages on her phone. You know, either he goes through her phone or he has 40's phone. I don't think he does, but he, I mean, he could. He'll see her confession and be like, wait, that's not my baby. And then he might kill her. <laughs> and Theo. I'm happy. Of course you are. I'm just thinking of her while he's doing love. <gasps> Come show me. Now, now she's thinking of Theo. Oh my. They're each thinking of someone differently. Fuck. <laughs> Okay, Joe just nutted in her right here. So, yeah, then the test will be positive, and then she's like, well, you nutted in me, th like, the other day. I would appreciate if you tell me before you hire an investigator to look into your wife's case that's already closed. Oh, is it? You bought that? One thing that's interesting to me is your neighbor, the baker, Quinn, of the L.A. Quinns, meaning she... You do understand what will happen when the people in this town learn you're having them investigated? He doesn't care. I mean, this will cost not just you, but every person who works for you. You'll destroy lives for nothing. He's not gonna stop. He's not gonna stop. He's gonna go on. He's gonna do his own shit now. Since he's a tech guy, dude, they had. They're gonna use that. Like him being a tech guy, he's gonna pull some shit, and he's gonna figure out the truth. What's up? I'm. I'm good. 
Not pregnant, mm. are you? Keep it yeah. together. Fear. I'm just on like a mini detox. Mm. You are. Well, has it hasn't showed us the text files? Joe's or that neighbor kids? Keep your voice down. Oh, Donnie knows. Hasn't showed us the um, test results yet, though. So you're leaving mid shift. Could this be opportunity knocking? It's just there's no you here at all, which tells me I'm not looking hard enough. Yeah, it's their fucking work office. Oh. The more I know, less I understand. Who are you? Your problems are serious. I have a loving wife, a son. I can't have anything to do with your planet of red flags. This itch has been scratched. Mm, I don't know about that. Joe doesn't give up that easily. He's gonna try and help her, if anything. Given all you've accomplished, how do you stay so humble? I start the first half hour of every morning expressing gratitude. <laughs> if you focus on watering your own grass, you never have to wonder oh if God. it's greener anywhere else. But what does that mean? I yeah. <laughs> you don't feel how incredibly green your own grass is? Dude, stop talking like that. I mean, bro, call her, call her out, bro. She's speaking of fucking metaphors. Like, I hate when people do that. Like, give me stuff that I can actually do. Like, I could... Not just say water my own grass. Like, what the fuck does that mean? Give me actual actionable steps. It's like the most vague advice. I hate when people give such a vague advice. It's like one of my biggest pet peeves, dude. Possibly another addition on oh the way. God. Oh my God, love, that's so amazing. Oh. Sure, can you give us a second? Oh, love, I just- No, seriously, get the fuck out. Oh, <laughs> Hell, could you do that? I, I don't even know for sure. I haven't even told Joe. The problems in your marriage seem to keep stacking up. Mom, marriage, my womb, none of your fucking business. It's certainly not to share on social media. Don't speak to me. I was given all the mattresses in the world to sleep on and still complain she can feel a pee. I gave you the world, you ungrateful little bitch. And you have no idea what I have to do to give it to you. The boy and blow up your life has nothing to do with me and has everything to do with you being spoiled and bored. So look in the mirror instead of spouting your hypocrisy at everyone else. Damn, Dottie went off. I mean, yeah, really, like, Dottie's kind of right with that. Like, she's she she made some very good points. Hmm. Okay, so she's not pregnant, right? Yeah. Damn, bro. Oh my god. Fool's put in serious work to find out who killed her. Yeah, this is probably- this is what he's- Theo's- <laughs> Theo's a possible suspect. Yeah, Matthew, he's gonna get to the bottom of who killed Natalie. He's going to figure it out. Hmm. Is that your ex-husband? No, you don't have any yeah. rights, you fucking junkie. That doesn't sound right. What the hell is going on here? <laughs> hey, man. I'm sorry, that- I'm- I'm Ryan Goodwin. If I look familiar, Channel 3 News. Oh, that's why. Oh, yeah, I, okay, I, I did think he looked familiar. Like, we, we've seen him before in the show. But... We'll talk later, Mayor. Are you okay? You shouldn't have done that. I didn't ask for your help. Was that too hard? You really had to run up here like some white knight and get right in the middle of my shit? You're crazy! Goddamn business, Joe! You sick fuck! I see it now. It's mother issues. Fuck. Dottie. Just the way she said that. Scream out when we shit on her Gucci wallet. Fuck daddy. <laughs> I hate her. <laughs> Love's drunk, bro. <laughs> Did you just answer me? What the fuck? <laughs> so wasted. 40! Okay, this is in her head. This is in her head. Oh, that's cool, he's back. Like the actor. I live inside you. I'm always here. Oh, super touching. Kind of weird how they're both in the bathtub since they're supposed to be siblings, but it's nice to see him though. I don't know, I can't help but wondering maybe another baby would calm me down. No, it would not. First of all, no is what you need. I thought I needed to get married. And apparently someone who wasn't my husband. Wordy, I don't know what happened. I fell so in love with Joe. I don't even like him. Damn. I mean, he makes me feel bad for being me. 
That's not how your soulmate's supposed to make you feel, right? Yeah, I mean, okay, in her defense, Joe did push her away pretty fucking hard. You know, it made her feel pretty shitty. Kind of natural how her feelings for him go away when he's pulling back as hard as he is. Why can't I just be happy? Oh, you're not happy because Joe isn't your soulmate. Mm, it's not Theo either. I am. There is one person who understands what you have been through. I mean, yeah, in like a non-romantic way, I guess. I, I see it like that. Like, they're literally best friends, too, so it's like... I'll be there. Just call my name. Uh, love imagining 40 being there is making, bringing her some peace, at least. Damn. I feel bad for her, dude. Ah. It's a great way to show him. To bring 40 back into it. Yeah, love feels alone. Hey, what? Hey, it's an emergency. The fuck happened to the bookstore? Or the library, I mean. What? Sprinkler system malfunctioned. Hmm. Damn, ruined a lot of books. Yeah, thousands of books are destroyed. And... Well. You happen to have called the best book doctor in the world, so we'll mm. figure out what's sal- Yeah, you can fix a good amount of books. It'll take a while, but you can fix them. This is about books. For the love of books. I'd have done the same thing if Dante called. <laughs> no, I would have. I know you were just trying to help. The way you handle those books. The care. Only a mother- Oh, there, yeah. <laughs> yeah, stop. I never stopped thinking my mom would show up and save me. Damn, just like Joe. I held on to that same hope. I never talk about this with anyone, not even love. Ooh. But you understand completely. Yeah, cause she went through it herself too. Verbal and emotional abuse for calling him a dickhead. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> and he's had this case built against me for years. And... Hey, Ryan. <laughs> yeah, he's just trying to milk it as hard as he can. Ryan manipulating the justice system. Somebody should stop him. I volunteer happily. Wow. Mother, you adore your child and she should be with you. You're just who you are. You don't oh, they're gonna kiss, they're gonna kiss. It's actually gonna happen this time. It's not on his head, it's not on his head. Oh, again? Oh. Fuck off. I think it's, oh. it's just that. Oh, okay, it's just right there, it's just right there. Kiss, 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 kiss. <gasps> Yep. Well, why am I rooting for them to kiss? Why am I why why am I rooting for them? I don't know. That was dramatic though. That was very dramatic. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, she just realized I shouldn't have done that because because she knows Joe is fucking married. Yeah. Well, you don't have to tell love. Just like Joe will never find out about Theo, but I'm sure they'll both find out whatever about each other or whatever. It's fine. And what's going on? I don't know. That the whole soulmate thing. It's mostly bullshit. Carrie and I, we had some fundamental problems. Ugh, I didn't even like him for a while there. But I decided he was my person. She made it work. Dopamine, oxytocin, serotonin. To activate all three, exercise, eat some protein, squeeze in eight hugs a day. Mm. Eight hugs. <laughs> I like that advice. It is not easy, but it is so worth it. Dear. Okay, that was uh, Sherry's best scene in the entire season so far. That scene was actually really good with her and like relatable and giving like, I, th I think she gave good advice right there, so. Always love you, but I have to say goodbye as much as it hurts. Goodbye, you. Oh. Damn, don't, don't you know? I mean, you definitely know his phone number by heart, so you can just make the contact again. But like that must fucking hurt. The fuck? What are you doing here? <laughs> you called me. What? You dropped out of me at like 4 a.m. Yeah. Worse than I thought. I went into his office and he hired a PI to stalk people. And he has all this insane conspiracy shit with these names of people in Madre Linda. Including you and Joe. Mm-hmm. What? Yeah. I mean, bro, like, doesn't mean he thinks it's her and Joe. It's just they're suspects. Like, he, everyone's a suspect as far as Matthew can, Matthew's concerned, so. I'd never do anything to split up a family, and I need you to know that. Not that you'd ever 
obviously because you love your wife. We were just exhausted and... Nah, Joe's willing to drop her in a second for you. But respect to Marianne for not wanting to split up a family. I never get in the way of you getting your family back. I would never hurt Julia. We can't do this. I know. Shit. God damn it, Joe. I've never felt more clear-headed. Oh my god. But I do need time to figure out what I'm gonna do about love. Well, Joe's gonna have to kill her. You, Marianne. I'll never let anyone hurt you. I Jesus will Christ. stay ahead of her this time. She goes home early. Hey, we need to talk. She knows. How the hell could she already know? No, it's just about Matthew. <laughs> Matthew hired a PI to look into people. Yeah. How? But we know Theo has a crush on me. And you want to use that? Sort of. Like, a pretend like he had a chance. Mm. you girls will do anything if they think sex is on the table. Oh well, God. this took a turn. I trust you. We are a team. The best team. <laughs> It's funny because they don't even like each other anymore. Like none of the, neither of them have feelings for each other. This is great for everyone. All right, well that was episode six. All right, well Joe and Marion are now a thing, I guess, and Joe's gonna do whatever he has to do to protect Marion from love, cause. Well, in Joe's mind, if Love finds out that he's seeing Marion now and he's obsessed with her, then Love's gonna get jealous and want to kill her, right? Which, okay, makes sense. But he doesn't know the same exact thing's happening to Love and Theo. Like, okay, what I think will happen is either one of them finds out they're seeing somebody else, they're gonna get jealous, and then they're gonna be like, no, I, I want them back or something like that. You know, they're gonna trigger all the emotion for them again. Yeah, they'll probably end up killing someone. So, I dude, what, what if... What if Joe kills Theo and then Love kills Marion? It kind of happens at the same exact time. That would be insane. Joe says he needs to deal with Love. So is he going to kill her or what? This is kind of a shitty reason to kill Love. I don't know. I'm really liking Love's character a lot more recently. So like, I really hope Joe doesn't kill her. That would be kind of disappointing, to be honest. I don't give a shit if Theo dies. I really don't. I'd be kind of upset if Marion died too. I really like her. But Matthew was on to them. Now it's like, it's not like he has them as suspects, but it doesn't mean he's like deep into them, you know? Like Love is the last person to be known that was known to be with Natalie. So, okay, that's pretty high on the sus suspect list, but not because he has any proof. It's just based off what he already knows so far. So, yeah, you're going to be suspects by default already. So, okay. But they're obviously going to have to do something about that. And Love's going to you know use theo to get into the house see what matthew already knows and everything like that so i mean bro theo is probably just love could just ask or be like yo take pictures of everything show me stuff like that love kind of set that up to where she can be talking to theo more often and joe's not gonna worry even though i don't he wouldn't have noticed anyway because he's he's focused on marion so it's like all right whatever i'm telling you bro they're gonna use those those bow and arrows to kill someone someone's dying from that bow and arrow Oh, God. Yeah, I find out about his dad and see what he knows. Is she doing this to find more information about that? Or is she doing it because she just wants to fuck him? Probably both. All right. So far, so good. He's going to make me to talk. If I wasn't so in love with you, Marianne, I might find this more upsetting. But as it stands, I... Joe, how are you in love with Mary? You could possibly have on us, if anything. She might be more attracted to Theo than she's willing to admit, but she's also mm -hmm. right and distracted, which is necessary to keep her from Spidey sensing you. Yeah, so Joe knows. He doesn't know they're fucking, but he knows that she likes him. But he doesn't even give a shit because he's in love with Marion. It, it works out for him, I guess. He's going to find out Love's fucking Theo, and that's going to piss him off. And then he's not going to be okay with that. He just thinks, like, them flirting or whatever, and her maybe liking him a bit is, like, fine, whatever. But if they fuck, he's going to get mad. I thought about you, too. A lot. I knew it. But it can happen again. I gave it a lot of thought, and for so many reasons. First and foremost, being you're married. That's and true, mm. but I totally understand. That if I push too hard, I risk losing you. Mm, wow, that's a concept just never understood before. What? You have a glow about you, and I noticed it on game night, too. Yeah, I mean, I took your advice about choosing your soulmate. Mm. And the sex life. 
back on track, I assume. Yeah, just not with Joe. A lot of ways to increase Joe's libido. Mm -hmm. Tap into his fantasies, really make him feel like a man. It's what I've done. Bro, you do not want to tap into Joe's fantasies. I know, bro, no. Can't even imagine what those are. Actually, I can. That's why I don't want to know. That's why I don't want to see them. If you really want to help, mm -hmm. could you find out what your dad has on me and Joe? Uh, what? Show anyone. Anybody. I know, but it's this is like a major trigger for me. You know, I can't help but worry when people have information on my family. And I know it's not rational. Oh, hey, hey, it doesn't have to be. I get it. I do. Good stuff, love. Good stuff. Pulled that guilt card pretty well. Yeah, okay. Yeah, well, you know, I'll sneak into his office. <laughs> it's been a long time since I have felt this happy. Your glasses aren't ready yet. You wanna play a game? You can play I Spy. She can't see, Joe. She doesn't have her glasses. Is this the family we were destined for? Dude, Joe convinces himself of stuff, of things he wants, so fucking quick. You stood up to him, so he's never gonna let that slide. You and me, we can't. Well, we gotta kill Ryan now, so. He'll use it and I'll never get custody. You're right. Ryan is a problem, but there are always problems in love stories. Yeah. I'll find a way to solve this one. Yeah, Joe's been solving problems since day one, so... Let me tell you what I've learned about your ex, Ryan Goodwin. When he doesn't even give your daughter the time of day. Ryan is technically sober, but he's an emotional powder keg. He's mm -hmm. transferred his addiction to drugs and alcohol to an addiction to his... Transferred his addiction to his ego. No, I can get some Adderall of his making me clean garbage help. <laughs> he found a way to get around my lawyer and take my second act vineyard. My second act! I'm sorry to disappoint you. No, I should have known the marriage was over two years in when your father stopped wanting to do anal. <laughs> you need to know what to look out for in your own marriage. My marriage is nothing like yours. So you're not sleeping with the neighbor's son. <laughs> Dude, Dottie just knows. Excuse me for hoping my daughter would lend a sympathetic ear. Doesn't really like Dottie, to be honest. Damn, what did, what did you just take? Well, I'm hearing great things about your work on the corporate side. The team loves you. You've come a long way from the cocky young coder who introduced herself by hacking my email. And don't worry, my asshole days are far behind me. Well, here's the thing. Not too far, I hope. Um, I need your help with something. Tap into some shit, some... Like a lot of security camera footage. <laughs> Yes, well, it is. It's it's every perimeter camera and doorbell cam in Madre Linda. Fuck. I need you to help me sort it. I, I'm, I'm drowning in footage from a million cameras. I need the ability to look at particular people on particular dates. You want my facial recognition up? Yes, I do. Well, that's convenient. Yeah, they're definitely catching Joe in law. 100%. It's only a matter of time. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. Yeah, I'm sorry, how old are you? I'm living to define myself by something so arbitrary as a number. What? Okay. All right. I donate all my proceeds to NAMI. I'm beginning to think this generation may just save us all. $1,237.37. <laughs> Whoa, wait, wait, for what? How much am I getting? How much are you giving me? I only take Bitcoin. Fuck your Bitcoin. How much are you giving me? $1,200 for Adderall. Are you giving me fucking five months worth? Recipe. Adderall in the morning and Oxycontin at night to reintroduce small amounts into his system. Oh, he also got Oxycontin. Okay, okay, that makes it. What's this? Hmm? What happened to my wife? <laughs> you and my wife in the same place. Yeah, I've got like six. I just wanted to make sure that I made you a nice dinner. Something is up with her. Did she kill someone else and she's trying to distract me? I like how that's like the first thing Joe <laughs> assumes, you know? Like that's like, oh, no. Like, Oh, he can't get hard because it's not, it's not Marion. I have nothing left. Oh, and he already did it. Uh, bro, it does, bro, it's been a couple, it's definitely been a couple hours. The sun's down. Bro, it doesn't take that long to recharge. I was thinking. <laughs> so you have, I've had a long day and uh, I mean, it's not, it was a good idea. I don't know why I'm trying to blow you the second you walk in the door. That's silly. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, love's embarrassed. Love is unpredictable. I'm going to have to fix this. Considering you just ingested a mega dose of stimulants, the dragon is unleashed. Mm. Really hard to stand here and have a conversation with you as though I'm not like totally distracted by how much I want you. Stop. Stop. Oh, oh no, he's gonna comfort her though. 
Wait, was it, was it the dad thing or the hitting on you? I don't know what the fuck is wrong with me. No, I, I used to have my shit together. Hey. Mm. Yeah, I'm seeing. Mm. Mm. Are you sure? Oh, mm. Mm. oh no, is Joe, is Joe gonna catch him? Is Joe gonna get right in the kitchen? What about the baby cam or something? Uh, Joe's gonna, he's gonna find out somehow. Loves in the Theo because he's actually comforting her there for her and makes her feel like herself. You know, Joe's not being, Joe's not there for her, obviously, so. She, oh, she has a good look in the mirror right there. You like it? No. I fucking love it. Oh. Joe. <laughs> oh. It's not everywhere. That's what? my feeble attempt at an apology for last night's misfire work. I've been distracted and I'm sorry. No, I, I should be saying I'm sorry. Just wait. I Donuts are not objectively sexy, but... You make them the hottest thing on earth. Oh, that means so much to her. I really thought you didn't find me attractive anymore. Been so single-minded in my pursuit of you. Tonight my focus will be on love. It has to be, because if love is not happy, we will never get the chance to be. Yeah, I... Of a part, right? Shit, yeah, yeah. love is not stupid. This could be bad. Why did I agree to... You're the red rose herself. Yep, I'm just being neurotic. Thank you so much. Yeah, she's. I mean, it's not like she doesn't know. She's fully aware he's married, but like now that Marion's gonna see love and meet love, she's not gonna be okay with it. Well, Marion's gonna feel so bad. It's like I'm watching my own execution. <laughs> Great, actually, no sign of Ryan means he's probably in hour eight of a drug binge with his buddy. I'm sorry, you must be love. I'm Mary. Watch Marion just confess because she feels too guilty. He really. He really loves working here. Good. Even if they're slight shifts. <laughs> what? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he's a gem. He yeah, never complains when uh, I'm seeing someone. Mm. Uh, we're in that hangout as much as possible. Okay, and so Joe's been picking up my... Okay, Marion. No. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you're saying seems to be working for now. Yeah, but I don't think Love's buying it. Hey, heads up! 50 grand coming through. How are you? How is he alive? <laughs> what the fuck? He should be out of his mind. How is he even standing right now? <laughs> that quick's never been sober. Mm, uh, his AA stuff is all for show. There's drugs in his protein shake. Yeah, that's why the drugs he took. It's just normal for him. That's why it's not doing shit. And then I realized he pounds that stuff all day, every day. I have been played. I couldn't dose Ryan because he's been dosing himself the whole time and his tolerance is through the roof. Mm. But given the way you're nursing that drink, you don't strike me as someone who has a drinking problem. Fuck, how much of me did he see? No, on, taste. no. What is this, a sociopath's power play? Yeah, bro, fuck off. I don't know what you're up to. I bet my dick it's about Marianne. Stay away from her. No. Okay, okay, I'm kind of rooting for Joe and Marianne in spite of Ryan. Fuck Ryan. <laughs> I mean, the biological importance of making your man feel like a man. I I just don't think I'm one of these hot wives. Oh. Love is plenty attractive, dude. It's just Joe. It's just Joe is Joe. You should have kept reading an open marriage. Oh, an open marriage. Okay. Like me. Carrie and I are polyamorous. We can't stop thinking about the two of you. Oh, they want to... Yeah, they want to switch. Switch or force them? to take our relationship to a new level. Sorry. It's like babysitter. 80 bucks, all right. Wait, why did you send a Venmo request? We haven't come home yet. Yeah, why are you trying to get paid now? Oh, your mom came and got him. She refuses to listen. No one will listen. Except the fast food and drive through worker. Except you. <laughs> I need justice. I need karmic retribution. Bro, if you did this, they would just shut the window on you, dude. They... Give you, I'll give you uh, $300 for a lighter. <laughs> but if she has a lighter, she's probably doing it. Yeah, I'm doing that too. What, why is that on fire? What, what'd you do? <gasps> did one in the vineyard. Oh my gosh, she lit it on fire. Dude, she's a psycho. Oh my god. That's not real. There's no what? There's no fucking way she actually did that. Wow. She lit the vineyard on fire. Fuck. Down her vineyard. Make sure you're a rich white lady whose lawyer can get you into fancy rehab instead of jail. Damn. So I guess it did happen. What the fuck were you thinking? Just put him to bed, okay? I've got this. 
her ex-husband couldn't get it. That's that's why it was in spite of him. Joe will drive you to rehab. You will never see me. Oof. Or 40. And you will never see Henry ever again. Yep. You don't mean that. I do. With every fiber of my being. I made a mistake, but I've been... You could... Yeah, a pretty big fucking mistake. Like, what? That's not a mistake. It's pretty easy to think about. Should I do that? No. <laughs> you neglected your children. You didn't protect 40. I did. You liked him broken because it gave you purpose. Maybe. But I have a new purpose now. And that's protecting my family. From me. How can you say that? I'm your mother. <laughs> The love looks crazy right there. You think you're so much better than me? You were just me 20 years ago. One day, you'll lose everything too. And then you'll see how cruel you really are. Your dad is not okay. I mean, that's pretty obvious, yeah. Well, all he's, all he's gonna be able to find is a security camera of them going into the bakery and then them leaving it. With Joe, I mean, he could see Joe with a fucking body bag. Or Joe getting into um, putting the body bag into her, her car and then Joe getting her car and driving away. Yeah, okay, yeah, there you go. I have something to tell you, Joe. <gasps> it's Theo. I know who my daughter is. Is this where Dottie tries to poison me against love? Mm -hmm. Her final act of revenge? Yep. Do you know about love's first husband, James? Married young. He got cancer, and then he died. Not, not quite. Hmm. Well, it really happened. I became ill. He and Love were already having problems. He asked for a divorce, and the next thing you know, he was dead. No way she. No. No proof, of course. No. Just a mother's intuition. <laughs> Honestly, I could, I could fucking see it. You're loyal. That's what makes you a good husband. But love has no loyalty for anyone but herself. Yeah, he's loyal. He's loyal to his feelings. Could love have killed her first husband? Like, I get love's crazy, but I feel like that's not really a strong argument, to be honest. But uh, I guess. Is everything okay? No. Julia told Ryan that we spent the day together. Now he's threatening to use it against me in the case. <sighs> what a fucking dickhead. Fucking Ryan, I'll destroy him. <laughs> fucking Ryan. <laughs> From what I can tell, your marriage doesn't seem to be strained at all. Your wife is lovely. Lovely, yes. With the mild habit of murdering women I care about. I hated having to lie to her. But there has to be another way. There isn't. Damn. This is the breakup. And yeah, there's chemistry. But? But no, I have to think of Juliet. Yeah. Huh. And they want to sleep with us. Seem particularly interested in having sex with me. That's not true. Love. They couldn't stay in love. Maybe we need to shake things up. Opening our marriage. This loophole cannot be falling into my lap. Yeah, I mean, I don't even know how. Mm, so it works out for Joe. Sherry and Carrie would be a safe first try. <laughs> and I love. Bro, look how relieved he looks right there. Holy shit. Oh, okay, that's live footage. Can't see. I thought he'd look at previous recordings, not live footage, but he's watching, so. All right, well, that was episode seven. All right, so Matthew's onto them. He's ha he tapped in into the security cameras. Now, I think his program's a little bit bullshit, to be honest, because he can't just put in two fucking names. And then, like, I guess it's run by facial recognition. So he puts in Joe Goldberg and Love Quinn, and then the cameras, will, it'll just, then the program will just find wherever they are, or whichever camera recognizes them. Bro, you couldn't even see their face in that footage. How would that AI recognize their face? Whatever. I thought he was gonna tap in the old footage. Now, I guess he's only able to access live footage. But okay, he's still gonna catch him doing some shit. Like they're gonna they're gonna kill someone and then they're gonna have to cover it up and then he's gonna catch them while they're trying to cover it up. So unless he is able to go into previous footage and then he'll find Joe getting rid of of Natalie's body and then there you go. But yeah, Joe and Marion, um, it didn't work out, but there's a loophole actually now because Sherry was like, look, love, you and Joe should have an open marriage. Now that's kind of what I thought she was gonna say. And like, I was almost gonna say, but, but the article said something different. So I was like, oh, okay, it's not an open marriage, but that's what Sherry was alluding to is an open marriage. That's, there was a code word for that. So it's like, okay, okay. But yeah, this works out perfectly for Joe because now he can go and fuck Marion and without love getting mad because they're in an open marriage now. So I don't think love is gonna be okay with that. Okay, it's clear love is still trying, like she's 
still has some feelings for Joe, but it's hard for her to really embrace those feelings when Joe is just not giving her anything at all. And like, and so she's just trying to get to keep this marriage working. And like, yeah, she's in the Theo, but that's only because Joe's ignoring her. <laughs> Or whatever and she has no idea why she loves things it's her fault she has no idea about marion which okay makes sense too so loves just trying anything to get joe's attention back and it's like yeah like joe she has no idea joe's is interested in in love with marion so it's like when she tried to blow him when he came in his dick was already limp as hell he couldn't get hard because one he already busted a load jerking it to marion's photos two he's just not attracted to love so it's just it's not working so she's blaming herself for it right now you know what i think matthew will catch actually i don't think um joe and love are gonna kill anyone anytime soon like joe could kill ryan so like matthew could catch them like could catch joe taking care of ryan's body but i think he'll catch love and theo fucking one more time or something like he'll catch him doing that and then he'll like call him out on it or some shit i don't know like joe's gonna find out about love and theo at some point i don't know i thought the mom i thought Dottie was gonna say that right there but no she said love murders her last husband which okay i mean yeah love's a love's pretty crazy so like i guess i could see it because he tried to divorce her or whatever he tried to divorce her so she killed him all right so now joe has that in his head like okay if him and marion work out then he's gonna break up with love divorce love and then she's gonna try and kill him or something like is that is that where this is going i don't think the open marriage excuse loophole is gonna work for him to go fuck marion because love she doesn't i don't think she really wants to do it she's just, like i said she's just doing it to get joe's attract attraction for her back attention back like she's trying to spice things up you know and so she's willing to do it with sherry and her husband but that doesn't mean joe can just go and fuck someone someone else like no that's not what love is agreeing to right away like sure maybe down the road like they fuck sherry and her husband and then like that goes smoothly or whatever that helps that benefits their marriage then like sure maybe she'll be like okay yeah maybe we should start reaching out finding new people whatever right something like that so but joe's gonna go and fuck marion right away and then he's gonna think he's he's good to just say tell it the love no problem because it's technically they agree to an open marriage so there's nothing for him to feel guilty about or marion's gonna mention it to her or something like that and love's gonna be like what the fuck i didn't agree to that and joe's gonna be like yeah you did you agreed to this open marriage but you, you see like where the confusion the miscommunication comes in you know some, something like that's gonna happen and then love's gonna tweak probably try and kill marion or something i don't know that's just i guess so but anyways that was season three episode seven comment down below what you thought about this episode down below in the comments if you like the video like the video and thanks for watching